Hey, you're watching yoga with AJ. Today we're going to work on the hips, making sure our hips don't lie. We start with stability, bringing an awareness into the joints, into your muscles. Focusing a bit on strength, building strength in the muscles that support the hip joint and last we work on flexibility. So let's get started with our hip postures today. So we're starting out in Surya Namaskar today. If your lower back or your upper body is feeling a little stiff, not so, not so healthy, not so happy, you can go back, pause the video, come down to your mat and do a few gentle cat-cow stretches or just lie down in child's pose, do a few neck stretches, whatever you feel like. So we start out in Surya Namaskar with the legs together. Take a deep breath in, bring your hands to prayer position and just see how that feels. Continuing to breathe, pressing your feet down into the mat, close your eyes if you'd like or fix them on a spot ahead of you. Open up the shoulders nice and wide. Pull the stomach up, take another deep breath in, stretch up. Stay here for a few seconds, really feel yourself stretching up. Don't arch back too much. Looking up at the ceiling through your fingertips, pulling up the side body, pulling up the stomach, pressing down into the feet. Take another deep breath in as you exhale, reach forward and down. Bend the knees if you need to, bring your hands down onto the floor, fingers and toes in one line. Relax the neck, relax the shoulders, just drop the head down towards the knees. Breathing here for a few seconds, feeling your hamstrings starting to open up. If they're already feeling open, you can try and straighten out the legs a little bit more. If they're feeling very open, you can try and have your palms down on the floor and then try and straighten them up a little bit more. Breathing here for a few more breaths. And gently take the right leg back. Bring the knee down onto the mat, pushing down into the floor, pressing down with your hips gently and looking up with your chin, pulling your upper body away from the floor. If you can, try and bring one palm down. If you can, try and bring the other palm down. Continuing to stretch up, just breathing normally. We're in the equestrian pose, Ashwasan Chalanasan. Make sure your knee and your ankle are in one nice straight line. Now pick up your right leg, knee off the floor, body in a straight line. Slide the left leg back. Body in a nice straight line in your push-up position, pressing away from the floor, activating your stomach, using your chest, your shoulders, your arms, pushing away from the floor. And gently bring your knees down, bring your chest and your chin down. Sliding forward and up, coming into a nice upward stretch with your back. Stay here for a few seconds, see how your back feels. Elbows are bent, tucked into the body, shoulders relaxed, feet pressing down into the floor. Curl the toes under, take a deep breath in as you exhale, push up into an inverted V. If your hamstrings don't feel open, you can pedal your legs, waking up backs of your legs or bend the knees. Stay here for a few breaths more. Opening up the shoulders, externally rotating the shoulders out to the sides, neck in line with the back, stretch out the legs if you can, take a deep breath in, step your right foot forward between your hands, you can take two steps if you like, and gently stretch up towards the ceiling, press down with your palms, press your hips gently down, staying here one more time in your equestrian pose, this time the left leg is stretched back, be aware of the foot, the ankle is stretching with you, so stretch the toe back, along the floor, along your mat and curl your toe under. Take a giant step forward with the left leg. Fold your head in. Staying here a few seconds again, breathing. If you can, bring your palms down to the floor. Straighten the legs and bring the head in towards the knee. Bring the crown of your head right at the top down towards the floor. Breathing here for a few more seconds and gently stretch up, growing nice and tall, pulling up the side body, looking up at the ceiling through your hands, relaxing the shoulders down in the sockets, pull the stomach up, gently bring the arms down. Let's try this on the left, this time with the breath. Inhale as you exhale, bring your hands to prayer position. Inhale, stretch up gently. 
Exhale, reach forward and down, palms on the mat. Inhale, left leg back, knee on the mat, look up. Hold the breath. Come back, push up position. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down on the floor. Inhale, slide forward and up. Elbows bent, tucked into the body, feet stretched out. Exhale, curl the toes under, come to an inverted V. Inhale, stretch your left foot forward, bring it between the hands. Take two steps if you need to, stretch the right leg back, look up. Exhale, bring the left and the right feet together now. Stepping the right foot forward, folding your head into the knees. Inhale and stretch up, gently arch back. Exhale, bring your arms down by your side. Let's try one more, a little faster, first on the right, then on the left. Inhale as you exhale, come to prayer. Inhale and stretch up. Exhale, reach forward and down. Inhale, right leg back, look up. Retain the breath, push up position. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, slide forward and up. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, right foot forward. Exhale, left foot forward. Inhale and stretch up. Gently arch back at the top. Exhale, bring your arms by your side. Inhale as you exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale and stretch up. Exhale, reach forward and down. Inhale, left leg back. Look up. Retain the breath. Slide the right. Push up position. Exhale. Knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, slide forward and up. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, left foot forward between the hands. Look up. Exhale, right foot forward. Fold the head in towards the knees. Inhale and stretch up gently. Arching back at the top, bringing your arms down by your sides. And separate your feet. Bring them hip distance apart. Bring your hands to prayer position. Straighten out your back. Just close your eyes for a few seconds. Take a deep breath in. Let the abdomen expand as you inhale. Abdomen contracts, coming back towards the spine as you exhale. Taking two more deep breaths like this. Elbows and shoulders relaxed. Stomach gently pulled up. And relax your hands. So we come to our standing postures. We're going to revisit some of the postures we've done before. We start out with our feet a nice four feet wide in triangle. Turn your right to out your right. Make sure the right heel and the arch of the left foot are aligned. Turn the left toes in slightly. Press down from the left hip down into the heel. Straighten your back. Stretch your arms out. Take a deep breath in. Think of going sideways rather than down. Making sure both your hips are stacked and then reaching your arm down. Reach the left arm up towards the sky. Open up the side body. Open up all the ribs. If you need to be higher, you can be higher. Just making sure that your ribs are nice and open. If your neck allows you, look up towards your hand. Otherwise, continue to look in front. Staying here for a few more breaths. Gently pulling the stomach in towards the spine. Making sure both hips are in line with each other. And if you're more flexible, you can slide down your leg. Making sure... Your back is still straight. Imagine you have a glass wall in front of you and a glass wall behind. You can't lean over and you can't lean back. Completely going to the side in your triangle, Trikonasana. And gently come back up, release the pose, bring both feet facing in front. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. You can use the yoga block behind your leg. So your legs are nice, four feet apart. Turning the left out to the left side, turning right in, making sure the left heel and the left and the right arch of the foot are in one straight line. You can place the block close to your ankle, press down from your right hip into your heel, stretch the arms up, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, reach towards the side and then go down. You can bring your hand onto the block, you can even move the block further behind. And then open up the side body, ribs nice and stretched. If you have a stool of the similar height, you can even use a stool or a low chair. Making sure you're stretching to the side, not forward, not back, truly to the side. Look up at your hand if your neck allows you. If your neck feels stiff, feels achy, just look in front. Staying here for two more breaths. 
and gently come back out of it. Inhale as you exhale, bring your arms down. Let's try that one more time. So the triangle on the right side once again. Align the feet, right heel, left arch, press down into the left outer edge of the foot. Take a deep breath in, reach towards the side and then down. This time stretch a little bit more, open up your chest, make sure your shoulder and your arm are in one straight line. Not overextending, not leaning forward, nice and straight. Pressing down into the outer edge of your left foot, activating your hip, feeling the connection from the hip into the heel. And gently come back up. Relax. Switching sides now. Turn the left toe out, check the alignment, left heel, arch of the right foot. Press down from the hip on your right side, down into the heel. Leveling your hips, straightening out the arms. Inhale deeply as you exhale, reach sideways and down. Stretch up, opening up the sides. Even that last rib, trying to open it up towards the sky, towards the ceiling. If you have to be higher to do this, feel free to be higher. It's not important how low you go. What is important is that you get a good stretch. So my hip joint is fairly open. My lower back is fairly, fairly flexible. So I feel like I'm stretching when I'm here. I don't feel much of a stretch when I'm up there. And take a deep breath in, gently come out of the stretch. Relax your arms. Your feet are facing in the front again. So we go into a little wider position, maybe five feet apart. We're going to do the warrior two, we've done it before. Turn your right foot out to the right. If you need a wider stance, take a wider stance. You're going to go down to a point where the right knee and the ankle are in one straight line at a right angle and the right buttock and the right knee also in a straight line. So if you need to step in in order to do that, go ahead. You should have the knee in line, not overshooting and not under either because you put a lot of pressure on your knee. Press down from the hip, down into the heel, outer edge of the foot. Take a deep breath in and start to bend, pressing the right calf forward. You're in a nice straight line. Don't let the upper body go forward. Keep it bang in the center. Turning out both the hips in their sockets, pressing down from the hip, down into the outer edge of the foot. And now look out over the fingers of your right hand. Keeping your upper body centered, not allowing it to twist. And being aware of the back arm, not allowing it to drop. Staying here for three more breaths. and gently come back up. If you feel your hips pulling or stretching, not feeling comfortable when you're this low, you can be a little higher. It's perfectly all right. Trying the same thing on the other side. Turn out to the left. Check the alignment. Every time you're in this position, check the alignment of the heel and the arch of the other foot. Turn the right foot in. Gently starting to bend the knee now, making sure the knee and the ankle are in one straight line. Stretching the arms up. Checking your body, making it nice and center. Shoulders facing the front and then just turn your head towards the left, looking out over the fingers of your left hand. Pressing down into both legs, from your hip down into the outer edge of the right foot and grounding down into the left foot. So you're working both your legs, turning both the thighs out gently, not allowing your lower back to arch, pulling up from the stomach, staying here for two more breaths. And gently straighten your leg. Bring the arms down, come back to the center. We'll try this one more time. Turn the leg out, check the alignment. Turn the left foot in and moving into the pose. Staying nice and steady, looking out over your right hand. Gently straighten back up. You should be feeling pressure on both legs. Perhaps not evenly in the beginning, but you should feel both your legs work, not just the leg that's bent. Check your alignment once more, moving to the left this time, moving into the stretch. So you're working on a stretch and strength at the same time. You're stabilizing your hips so that your hips know what that feels like to be nice and stable. Your left hip is opening up quite nicely because the thigh is turned out, back nice and straight. It's an uneven stretch, one leg completely turned out and the other 
not so much. Gently straighten out both the legs, relax. So you're back in this nice wide posture. We're going to try out a new posture today, Parshva Konasan, extended side angle. At first we'll just rest our elbow. So you come back into this nice warrior two-like position and you're going to stretch the entire side body. So bringing your right elbow down to your knee and stretching your arm up. If you can, look up towards the ceiling or continue to look in front. Try not to collapse into the shoulder and the elbow. Your side is activated. Stomach pulled into the spine. Back nice and straight. Nice straight line through your leg, your side and your arm. And stay here for a few more breaths. Three more breaths. And come back to warrior two. Gently release the pose. Doing the same thing on the other side. Check your alignment, move into that right angle, bring your left elbow down onto your left knee, not collapsing, opening up the sides, opening up the ribs, stomach gently pulled into the spine, stretch your right arm up, press down into your right heel, press down and ground on into your left heel, look up if you can. If not, continue to look in front, relax the shoulders, open them nice and wide, don't let them rise. Staying here for one more breath, nice long inhalation, long exhalation, come back to warrior two and stretch out of it. Let's try it one more time on the right. Turning your leg to the right, left toe slightly turned in, come back to warrior two with the legs and come down to your elbow, resting on your knee, opening up the ribs, stretching the arm up. Staying here for a few breaths, five breaths this time. Remember to lift with the upper body and press down into the heels with the lower body. Stomach is engaged, glutes engaged, thigh is engaged, calves working hard, feet pressing down, upper body stretching up towards the sky. And gently come back, relax. Trying the same thing on the left. Check your alignment, heel in the arch of the foot, right leg turned in slightly and come down onto your elbow, stretching up, opening up the ribs nice towards the ceiling, don't collapse. You can be a little higher if you like, if that helps to keep the ribs nice and open. Staying here for five breaths. And gently come back, straighten the legs, walk the legs in and shake them out. We're going to try a variation of warrior one today. Step your right foot forward and step back with your right leg as far back as you can so that you're back in this right angle pose. If this is very difficult, you're feeling pressure on your knee, all kinds of things feeling wobbly, you can be a little higher. Walk the leg in, you can be a little higher, that's fine too. Ideally, try and come back where your knee and your ankle are in one straight line, knee and the buttock in another straight line, so you're creating a right angle. Your left heel will be off the floor, the left leg is straight, it's not bent, pressing back. As if you have a wall behind you, you can even do this against a wall. So you can go against a wall and press your heel back to get greater stability. And just find your balance here, making sure both hips are absolutely square. Not one turned out, one turned in, not one higher and one lower, try and bring them square facing the same direction at the same level. Leveling the hips, staying here at your right angle for five breaths. And gently straighten up, come back to the center, walk your legs in, shake them out. You must have felt both your legs work. When we're doing this posture, your legs are not exactly aligned. They're a little apart just like you are when you're standing up, so that you can find a better balance. Imagine that your thighs are rolling in towards the midline of your body, so that you can find better balance. Let's try that on the left leg. So step back your right leg. Take a nice big step back. Your heel is off the mat. Your left knee and ankle in one line, left knee and buttock in one straight line. Make a nice right angle. Imagine both the thighs are rolling in towards the midline of the body, so you can balance. Try and find a good sense of balance here. Tighten up the glutes, tighten up the hamstrings just a little bit. 
When I say tighten, I don't mean contract them, just engage them. Feel them working. Take a deep breath in. <sighs> Press that right heel back against an imaginary wall. Stabilize both your hips, both in one nice straight line. Staying here for two more breaths. And gently straighten up. Step your right foot forward. Shake your legs out. We're going to try this one more time. And this time, if you feel stable there, we're going to do this posture with the arms away from the body. Nice right angle with your right leg, engaging the front thigh here, the back thigh here, pressing back with your heel into an imaginary wall. Like I said before, you have the option of doing this against a wall if you don't feel you're balanced, and stretch the arms up. Pull up the side body, rest the shoulders down into their sockets, pull the stomach up, hold here for just three breaths. And gently bring the arms down, rest the knee down on the floor. Take a break. So we're going to try this posture either straight up the way we are, or if you have the stretch or the strength in your legs, slide the leg back even further. You can have your toe curled under to plug in, find that balance, or you can stretch the toe out on the floor. Again, the right knee and the right ankle in one straight line. First, just bring your hands to your hips. Find your balance here. You can also be higher up. You can be here. If you feel your knee is sensitive, the left knee that's resting on the floor, you can put a blanket under it. Find your balance. Find that good sense of balance where both the hips are square, both the legs are engaged, and stretch the arms up. If you feel good about this, you can look up at your hands, see if you can find that balance and be steady here. Gently release the arms. If you'd like to try stretching one more time with the leg further back, you can, or just repeat the stretch the way you are. Stretching up, staying here for nice four breaths now. And gently bring the arms down, bring the leg back, rest in Vajrasana for a while. So we'll take a break, drop your forehead down to the mat, resting your lower back, resting your legs. Gently come up, shake those legs out. We'll come back to standing first and then come down onto the floor again. So hug your knees in, you can walk forward and roll up. Come back to the front of your mat. This time your left leg is in front, stepping the right leg back. Finding that nice balance here, making sure both your hips are square, pressing your heel against an imaginary wall, knee at a right angle and stretch the arms up. You're going to stay here for four long breaths. Don't hold your breath, pull up the stomach, relax the shoulders down into their sockets. Breathing here. Two more breaths. And gently rest the knee down onto the mat. Find your balance yet again. You can either stretch the right leg back, or you can be higher up, whatever you like to do. Either turn the toes in, stretch them out, stretch your arms up, look up towards the ceiling. Breathing here, nice, three breaths here. Gently bring the arms down. You can either stretch the leg back or continue in the same posture. Take a deep breath in. We're going to stay up there for four breaths this time. Try and find the stability in the hips. Feel the thighs coming into the midline of the body. Don't let them fall out. Maintaining knee, ankle in one straight line. Gently bring the hand down. Step the leg back, sit back, rest your thighs, and you can rest your forehead down on the mat. Relaxing your thighs, they must have worked really hard. And gently come back up. So we strengthen the muscles of the thighs and the calves, worked on our hip stability. We're also going to bring our awareness to the muscles of the hips, the glutes and the piriformis. 
We're going to come back into our tabletop position. Hands shoulder width apart, nice and wide. Press away from the floor. Gently pull your knee up with a bent leg. Now try and bring your knee up towards your right elbow. So your right knee coming to your right elbow. Hold here for a few seconds. Try not to twist too much. Try and be nice and stable there. If you feel very unstable here, feeling a lot of pressure in your wrist, you can even come down onto your elbows or have one elbow down and one arm up. So staying here for a few more breaths and gently coming back down, trying the same thing with the left leg. Gently float the knee up and then pull it in towards the left elbow. Holding here for as long as you can. Let's try and hold here for four breaths. Keeping the arms nice and strong, pressing away from the floor, keeping the stomach engaged and bring the knee back. Rest for a moment. I'm going to try the same thing with a straight leg. Come back to the front. Bring the leg up. Pull the knee in towards the elbow. This is your right leg. Stretch the leg forward and straighten the leg. Try and hold here. Staying here for just three breaths. Bend the knee back in. Bring it back. Rest for a moment. Let's try that with the left. So pressing away from the floor. Hands spread nice like starfish. Weight evenly distributed. Pull up the left leg. Bring it in towards the elbow and then straighten the leg. Staying here for just two more breaths. Draw the knee back in and rest. And gently sit up. You must have felt your hip really work. Come to the center of your mat. Make a nice diamond with your legs. So both your feet are pressing against each other like a namaste. You might have your knees higher up or you might have them resting down. Back nice and straight. Test out the openness of your hips in this position. You might feel that your knees are wanting to go up higher and they're feeling uncomfortable. Your hips are uncomfortable. You can put a pillow or a cushion or a bolster under either knee. Feel really comfortable here. I'm going to stay here for a while. Interlock your fingers and stretch up. Relax the shoulders down into their joints. And gently come back. Take your thumbs, press down into the hip joint. Feel the heaviness in your hips. Feel them nice and heavy there. And stretch back up again. Pressing the hips down gently. Pressing the soles of your feet against each other. Stretching up with the side body, relaxing the shoulders down into their sockets. Relax your neck. Pull up the stomach gently. Keep breathing. Staying here for three long breaths. And gently release the arms. Pull one leg in. So we're working on a slightly uneven stretch. So I have my right leg in front and the left foot pulled into the midline of the body. Wherever you're comfortable, it could be further ahead or as close as you can get it. And now just stretch forward gently. Don't think of going down, think of stretching forward. You'll feel an uneven stretch in both legs. You might feel the inner thigh or the outer thigh of the right leg, that's the one that's in front, stretching a little bit more. Staying here for a few breaths, nice five breaths, feeling the hamstring as the back of the leg, as well as the hip opening up. Relax the shoulders. If you need to be higher up, stay higher up. It's all right. If you need a cushion or a bolster under your knee to rest, make sure you have that. And gently come back up. Switch. Bring the left leg back where it was. Pull the right leg into the midline of the body. Depending on how open your hip and your thigh are, you might feel either your hamstring or your hip stretching as you're doing this. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, fold forward as far as you can go, feeling comfortable in your lower back, in your shoulders and in your leg. You might feel a slight stretch. You shouldn't feel a pull or you shouldn't feel uncomfortable there. Staying here for five breaths. Relax the upper body, relax the shoulders and the neck.
and gently come back. Drop both your feet into the midline. Gently bring your hands behind you. Rest your hand on your thigh, either your left or your right. Start with whichever one you feel more comfortable stretching out. You don't want to feel any pain in the hip, the inner thigh or the groin. You're just stretching gently. So for some of us with the legs really open, the knees will go all the way down to the floor. And for the rest of us, it might be a struggle, we're just here. That's fine. It doesn't matter how low you go as long as you're getting a stretch in your hip joint. Change sides. Support yourself with your hands. And gently press down. Don't press the knee. Your hand is on your thigh. Gently stretching. Relax the back. It doesn't need to be straight or in any particular position. You're just focusing on your thighs at this moment. And gently come back. Bring your hands around your feet and try and straighten out your back. And stretch as much as you can. And if your back allows you, your hips allow you, reach as far forward as you can. Staying here for a good five long breaths. And gently come back up. We're ready to go down onto the floor. One nice stretch for your hips. And if you're a runner, or someone who likes to walk. This is a wonderful stretch for your legs and your calves. So we lie back. Back is flat on the floor. If you want to stretch out the calf and the hip at the same time, you can do this against a wall. So your legs are hip distance apart, feet, knees, all hip distance apart. You're going to fold your right angle over your left knee. Feel that leg opening up nicely, gently pressing the thigh open. And if you're doing this against a wall, you'll bring your heel up against the wall and just stay there, stretching out the calf as well. And if you don't want to do it against the wall and you want to deepen the hamstring and the hip opener, gently hold on to your left thigh and pull it in towards your body as far as your legs and your hips allow you. This is a reclining pigeon, a pigeon on your back. You're going to stay here for a good six to seven long breaths. You can relax that foot if you like. Just feel the hamstring on the right leg and the hip joint opening up. And gently bring the leg back, switch sides. Right knee on the mat, right foot on the mat left leg crossed over, first gently open up the leg. Pressing the thigh, opening up the hip joint, feeling the knee open up. Don't press onto the knee. The knee just works in line with the hip. So the knee is a hinge joint. This is the only movement it's meant to do, like a door. It only moves one way. Your hip is a ball and socket joint. It moves around, it moves up and back, moves in and out. So that's what we're opening out. We're opening out the hip joint without putting pressure on the knee. Gently press back. If you're against a wall and you want to stretch out your calf along with this, press into the wall with your heel, foot nice and straight. If not, bring your hands underneath your right thigh and just pull the leg into the body, feeling the back of your left leg and your hip joint opening up. Try not to let the knee fold in. Try and keep it stretched. As you're, reach, as you're reaching your leg in towards you. Staying here for a nice six to seven breaths. And bring the leg back to the floor. Stretch the knees, stretch the legs out, shake the legs out, shake your hands out. Shake your head out, slowly. And getting ready for a nice rest in the corpse pose. The hips are open. We've just done hip openers. So you can feel your hips, your knees, and your heels all in one straight line, the legs three to four feet apart. Hands away from your body so your shoulders can open up. Try and rest your entire back down on the floor. Try not to let your lower back arch, pressing it gently down. Relaxing all the muscles in your neck, in your face. The jaw and the tongue relaxing, smoothing out the skin of your forehead. 
just getting ready for a nice deep rest being aware of your breath allowing the abdomen to expand every time you inhale allowing it to contract gently every time you exhale So we practiced our hip postures today understanding how the hip works in tandem with the torso how the legs the abdomen and the glutes support the hip join us next time when we'll be doing upper body strengthening poses remember to stay connected to yourself and subscribe to the channel